evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to some Hold My Beer. Hold My Kebab. Hold My Tea. However you want. Today is, is going to be Hold My uh, hold my Cup of Tea. Because we, it's been a while since we've uh, had one of those. And today we have... I'm your brother, T44. Sup? Uh, yeah, okay. GG, T54. So today we have two tier eight bustles for you today we have the yag tiger 8.8 and we have a samoa now this tank is very rarely seen uh, in in replays like it's very rarely people will send me replays of the yag tiger now i didn't actually receive these replays today uh, i just looked at the hall of fame section on blit stars and then downloaded the replays because i thought you know what they're pretty good damage for tier eight games um and the, what, the, the main reason I look at Blitz Stars now, because if there is a Hall of Fame on Blitz Stars, you know it's not in the matchmaking. You know it's not in the newbie matchmaking. So to get entries into the Hall of Fame on Blitz Stars, you have to have over 5,500 battles. So you know every single battle on Blitz Stars that is a Hall of Fame game, uh, it's not in the newbie matchmaking, which is why I often do have a look on there to see what we, uh, what we have. And sometimes I I do look on there for tanks that are very rarely shown and these two i don't think i've actually shown replays especially as i hold my beer kind of op replays i don't think i've shown the yag tiger 8.8 .8, and of course the samoa has just been released so uh, i haven't shown any op replays on that as well so first up the yag tiger 8.8 .8, we were looking at ficus ficus 927 on rockfield now the yag tiger 8.8 .8 got buffed it got a new gun um a while ago the 10 point set uh, 10 point five centimeter gun which at the time people were like um it's an 8.8 .8. it's a yag tiger 8.8 .8, but yet they're giving it a 10.5 centimeter gun so it should actually be called the yag tiger 10.5 uh so when they when they give this gun it was insane i think wargaming also buffed the dpm or the alpha on these tier 8 uh, tds as well um so this tank now is actually very very good it is extremely strong it's got very troll armor um if again if you're in sort of a hold down position or even looking directly at a tank the armor is very very good although when people do switch to the apcr heat or the premium ammunition then yeah it is uh easily penable um but looking directly at tanks like we are here if you're hiding that bottom plate of course most tanks with their bottom plate you have to try and hide um because that is the weakest part of the tank or the at least the weakest part of the front of the tank um so when you're in that kind of position then yeah you can do really really well and that is not like i said that's not just this tank that is a lot of tanks if you can hide that bottom plate um but the ag point uh, the 8.8 .8, the ag tiger 8.8 .8 has really good uh, dpm i mean it's only a 5.9 second reload um so really good uh, dpm there with the higher alpha the gun obviously you can still run it with the 8.8 .8, uh, centimeter gun which is basically like a pew pew gun it does less uh, less damage it's the dpm i think is slightly higher uh but it's it's just not as fun it's not as fun uh, it does only have sort of three seconds or so reload 3.5 or something nearly four seconds reload um but this gun for me the 10.5 centimeter gun if if those of you that got the tank i mean this was actually my first ever purchase in the game um back when it wasn't really anything special and i actually sold it um not, not long after buying it so if you do have it collecting dust in your garage that you haven't played for a very long time i would definitely recommend playing this tank now because it is a changed tank with the new gun it definitely is a changed tank and it's very strong very very strong with that dpm um of course it is a turretless td so you again just like all the other tds you, um without a turret you do have to be careful of your surroundings make sure you've got cover uh for everywhere you go from the left to the right front back make sure you can turn easily if medium tanks come at you now he's actually in a situation where most of the tanks are in front of him uh, so he's actually in the position he's in um, facing down on some of these tanks he is uh, hiding his uh, bottom plate but at the moment it is now a three versus seven only manages to track that super persian there um, but of course because of the reload he is able to get a nice shot and god knows what this super persian is currently doing uh, he's just getting uh, he's absolutely getting wrecked sitting here um, and he's now going to try and side scrape but it's a little bit too late and he's 
basically lost all of his hit points. The IS-8 is there, needs to take care of that guy. Of course, it is a tier, tier, tier 9 tank, and that was an extremely low roll. But here comes the danger. It's a 3 versus 7 now. This T-30 thinks because he's got a good big gun he's just like right guys i'm full hit points i've got a big gun i'm just gonna go and rip these guys apart but he actually loses half of his hit points and before you know it it is now a two versus seven a two versus seven um he's still pumping up this damage now five thousand four hundred damage currently so he's already done a remarkable job a very very good job where is the other teammate his other teammate is over there the camp panzer is over there he needs to get a bounce really unfortunately doesn't quite get the bounce if he can go for the track shot here on the t30 but unfortunately doesn't look at all these tanks extremely low hit points there's like four tanks here that is all extremely low of course the t30 is low as well he's now ran out of ap he only has six apcr left he has to use them wisely considering there is like four or five tanks on one shots he could easily do this now he's going to get the first shot here on the is3 destroys his amarak doesn't quite take him out but the camp panzer does now take him out and now there is an emil he has to pay attention to what he's doing he has to make every single one of these shots count and there is the super persian maybe a bit of he into the rear of him just to clear him just to save a shot but now it's a, a one versus five situation and he only has three apcr left definitely would have shot some i don't know how many uh, he shells he's got there though he's got he's got five shells of he if he can get to the rear of the t30 that will be a great start because he can obviously he him but at this point of the game it's just like do you know what it's game over there's nothing i can do with only a couple of apcr shells left and a couple of he there isn't really nothing i can do but he put he put up a good fight Six thousand eight hundred damage makes a nice amount of credits there 134,000, and that is a, an extremely well played battle good amount of damage from him in the Yag Tiger 8.8 so moving along to the next game once my uh once my game unfreezes uh, so we're just going to wait here. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. There we go now. So we're going to move on to the next game. So we've seen that. And now we're going to watch the Samoa. Driven by Tanketsu uh, from the Wreck Clan. The Wreckham Clan. Cascade Extremes old clan so he is gone to the right side here now those of you that watch my samoa uh review it's a nice tank but is it worth the price uh, definitely not um it's basically a worse amx 5100 uh but it does have a bit more armor uh the dpm is slightly less than on this than it is the uh the amx 5100 but as I've said, it does have a little bit more armor. Um, and we're going to watch a great game here. So the DPM is very, very low. It's like 1900 on this tank, which for a tier 8 heavy is actually pretty low. And of course, it ha does have that 20 odd second, 23 or 22 seconds reload uh, to, reload your f uh, to, to reload your three shells. So again you have to pay attention to your surroundings when you're on that reload you have to reload if you only shoot twice you have to sort of determine is it a good time now to reload your shell uh, your magazine or is it time just to do i keep one shell um or do i just reload the whole lot um if you of course if you can get off get rid of all your shells into some tanks and then do that but when you back up always make sure you've got protection because that is an extremely long reload especially if you are in a tier 7 game uh, because there is so many tanks that have got great dpm so many medium tanks so many light tanks that just have fantastic dpm and of course always try and go for tanks that you'll be able to clear if there's some low hit point tanks always go for these tanks that you'll be able to clear with the three shells of course he is in that situation now where he's just getting bounces and bounces and bounces it's a five versus six there is a couple of uh, lower hit point tanks up here he can take out this defender um, but he's on a reload so there's no point him doing anything uh, while he's on that reload he's just going to sit and wait the t 34 one is now in a very bad position um, you can see him trying to aim for this kv3 here now this is probably the wrong decision very it's the wrong decision he's uh he's a full hit points i mean there's an is2 berlin over there that is a one shot but he's deciding to use all of his magazine into a full hit point tank and then he's going to go forward whilst he's on a big reload so not the best of uh, decisions there 
especially to go for that um, full hit point tank when he could have taken out one of these tanks if he would have just focused these instead of the uh, instead of the other guy. Well, I mean, they was in easy positions, especially the IS-2. He was in an easy position to take out. So now he is going to go for this defender. He, again, he has to be careful what he's doing because if he bounces one shot, then his DPM dramatically drops and he's going to have a tank with four shells come at him whilst he's on a 20 plus second reload. But his team have done a fairly good job job it's a now a three versus uh, three versus four the kv3 i mean you can already tell that the kv3 isn't a great player hasn't moved all game but he has to still be very careful because he doesn't have the best of armors yes he has a turret um but he has to be very very careful because now it is a two versus four he needs to go for this lever now that was a nice shot i do admit and now he's going to go for the kv3 whilst this t28 defender is coming at him now if this t28 defender is reloaded then he's going to find it very difficult. He's only going to take him two shells uh, to clear this Samoa. And now uh, God knows what this uh, T28 is doing. As, as if he shoots twice, and I know he shot once, if he shoots twice, then he should be going for this T28 defender because he's going to be on a big reload. But instead, now he does go for this KV3. Again, there's no right or wrong decision there. He's going for the he's going for the kill. And now the T28 defender is on a big reload, but so is he. They are on roughly the same amount of reload. Um, but the, the thing is, he's only a two shot to this defender and the defender is a three shot shot to him it's now a one versus two two tds um what was the other td the other td is the ts5 uh so we, again that's a that's a tank we don't see too much of at the moment it's still in stores he gets one shot there he has to, i mean he has to get this guy on dpm is he going to do it is he going to do it very very close there very close and he does manage to take him out for his fourth kill fuck you says the lover uh he's not happy he really really isn't happy god knows what this ts5 is doing has he gone afk because he hasn't moved but in the meantime the lever is still is he's, he's, he's just he's really not happy so he's now reloaded his magazine and this ts5 sadly for the enemy team is afk uh, so this is definitely afk for the win definitely would have been a different outcome if this guy was not afk definitely it would have been a loss but now he just can sit behind him wait for the reload and now if he come alive now that would be a bit scary wouldn't it if he come alive i've seen it happen i've seen it happen when it's a one versus one and the last afk guy comes alive whilst the last guy is a, is a one shot but he's now just reloaded and he should be able to take him out with uh, just two shells and a nice win for him uh, so he does end up on five kills 870 block damage there which is still decent and he ends on 7435 damage really really good job for a tier 8 tank yes there was an afk but nevertheless he's still done a fantastic job yeah he made a few mistakes going for the wrong targets but in the end having that afk it did pay off so i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm meansy 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye We'll